I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair This the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay Free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, I got beef with the feds in the Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A I got beef with the fans in the D-A Bow, 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 bow You already know what it is, man Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc, etc Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you You know who I be, follow me on IG Vada underscore fly Tell your mama I said hi Shout out to every single one of y'all that watch this content Whether religiously or in passing You know, subscribe to the channel, share the channel Spread the news, and if you respect it, you know what I'm saying, you'll see what's going on out here. Uh, shout out to everybody that's getting through what they're getting through. Today is Friday. You've made it through the week. Hopefully, your minds is clear, your souls is free, your bodies is free. And speaking of free, shout out to uh, my boy, Be Nasty, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, uh, he got a card going down, you know what I'm saying? It's going down. It's called NorCal versus SoCal, North Cal Northern California versus Southern California, TRBL. It's a live stream, you know what I'm saying? Um, live stream, you got Dev the Demon versus Coffee Brown, Verse Live versus Billy Boondocks, Costin versus Griffin, Caustic versus Griffin, uh, you got Dre Vicious versus NXT, Ron Compton versus Sasquatch, Josh, cool name, don't know who he is. And you got some other battles on here, and it's going down Saturday, November 9th, 3 p.m. in Oakland, uh, he will be giving away, this a free stream, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, ain't, nothing, ain't nothing you can't be if it ain't worth free, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a free event, getting to see Coffee Brown battle for free, and some more free battles is going down TRBL, you know what I'm saying? And um, we'll make sure that when he gives me the link and all of that tomorrow, free YouTube link, I'll share it on Twitter, etc., etc. And you can see what's going on with that. Uh, speaking of also free, uh, see, I see Little Dirk has received new charges in his M for Hire case. One count of conspiracy, one count of interstate facilities to commit M for Hire resulting in death, one count of using, carrying, discharging firearms and machine gun and possession of firearms and such furtherance of a crime of violence resulting in death. You know what I'm saying? And that's on top of the murder for hire. I, I had spoke about it a couple times, so I continue to give people updates and keep them abreast of the situation. Uh, looks like Lil Dirk was transferred. He was in Florida at Broward County. It looks like he was transferred to California where he's gonna have to face these charges. And I tell people all the time, when the feds get involved, loyalty is limited. 50 Cent had a song where he mentioned that. When the feds come in the game, loyalty is limited. Hardcore, you can start acting feminine. In the feds, you do 85% of your time. So if you get 10, you're gonna damn near do nine. You know what I'm saying? The, the rules are all written there. And the federal government does not come for you until they have you. They are not just moving off of speculation or what they thought they might have heard or what somebody might have said. The federal government moves off of facts. And unfortunately, in this scenario right here, the people that are telling, it's not like somebody picked up a 1-800 Crime Stoppers number and called. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, this is what's going on. Lil Durk is involved with X, Y, and Z. What it's looking like is one of his mans, OTF Jam, who's out of jail, got arrested, it seems like he got arrested for another pipe. In Chicago, they walk around with guns like nothing. They'll get out of jail from doing 10 years, and the first day out, they'll get a gun. You know what I'm saying? I got homies out there, friends out there. Girl out there said that, you know, her cousin or uncle get out of jail, and he'll be on the streets for two weeks and get hit with a pipe again. Now he's doing 10 more years. It's like a natural lifestyle out there. So um, he gets caught with a pipe. He's calling for a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? Dirk probably already knew that he was hotter than the 4th of July, so he probably couldn't get him a lawyer. And then he's looking at it like, yo, you know what? If you can't get me free, I'm going to get you in here with me. And that's exactly how it's kind of shaping up and looking like it's going down. Now, speaking of other things that's going down, you know what I'm saying? You got, uh, you got power moves, you know what I'm saying? I had to make a power move because my phone is almost dead, so I had to throw it on the charger real quick. You got power moves going down uh, and... There's a couple reactions, you know what I'm saying? You got a uh, Hitman Holla's reaction as far as like to Loaded Lux throwing a party. Shout out to everybody uh, that, that was talking about 
the party, the party that's going down, the Lodi Lux throwing the viewing party. You got Hitman Holler, not too, not too happy with that, and all of the reaction of the people who uh who spoke about it. You know what I'm saying? As far as uh, Lux opening <laughs> a bootleg liquor shop, you know what I'm saying? He, he bootlegging it. <laughs> Lux running a number hole. You know what I'm saying? And getting getting profits off of the joint. And I will say this, you know what I'm saying? I do got a couple updates. You know what I'm saying? Um, as far as uh, people were saying. It's no different than when a, a, a bar, a Buffalo Wild Wings, or somebody throws, and this is about Lux throwing a, a, view, a watch party, charging $40 for it, and Hitman not being cool with it, and you know, a lot of people weren't. When these bars like Buffalo Wild Wings, or fucking TGI Fridays, or any of these places, like, throw a pay-per-view fight, they don't pay the same price that me, you, or your mans up the street pay $10 and shit, like $40 for that, $50, $60. They have to pay based off of the amount of people that can fit in the building, but based on the amount of TVs that's going to be on. They pay taxes. They pay all type of shit. So for a pay-per-view that me, we might be watching for $50, $60, they paying $1,500, $2,000, $2,500, depending on the size and the place of the bar in New York City. Bar might be paying three, dollars $4,000 for a pay-per-view. You know what I'm saying? People are not doing that to have their product undercut or back cut. Because you got to think, if you get 50 people in a venue, $40 a piece, it's $2,000. $2,000, that's money. That's money on the floor. Y'all might not see it. Everybody who's staying home watching the pay-per-view from home or bootleg or whatever the case may be, you don't see that because you're not spending the money. When you're not spending the money, you don't see how it affects or impacts people on the other side. You know what I'm saying? We deal with a lot of these events where, you know, money, money, money is an intricate thing. And Lux knows, as a forefather, my nigga, you a forefather. He's a forefather in the culture. And I think that he might not even did it with ill intent. But he still did it. And you'll have to think about the fact that he's going to have murder mood. There are going to be people. <laughs> Baby, welcome to the party. There will be people at that party. You taking an L if you think not. Like the whole city, nigga, the niggas hitting me up. I had a message earlier. <laughs> I screenshot it. <laughs> I screenshot it, man. A nigga said, he said, I ain't going to lie. I might go. Don't kill me, hit man. He said, Harlem is closer than a lot of other places I'm pulling up. As far as like, yo, people that's in New York that want to wanna be around and hang around the battle rap scene and be around Lux and Mook and all of them for the day, they'll pay it for it. And I said, it's going to be some joints there. Am I invited to the party? Baby, welcome to the party. I'm up to Molly. I'm not at the I'm not at the, I'm not at the party, man. But uh, that joint looked wild. But let's just get into, you know what I'm saying, my final, I give you my final thoughts, my final predictions who I feel like has must win battles and et cetera, et cetera on this card. Fine. It feels like power moves was so far away and it's finally happening. It's like, yes, <sighs> because the promotion has been ramped up. Some of the promotion has been conventional. Some has been unconventional. We know Verb does a very unconventional way of promoting. He gets you rattled up. He'll get you, he'll get under your skin. He gets you to talk. He's going to do what he do. He's still, Verb's going to be promoting all the way until your event during in between battles he's going to be going live and all of that shit he's going to antagonize i told you bro verb is the protagonist he going to protag this whole motherfucking situation verbatim i told you verbatim the other day right so um hitman has got to focus on the battle you know at this point who's supporting and supporting and who ain't is who ain't um you know i i don't think that you should have found. You gotta go find them niggas, cause Lux and them niggas ain't even tap in, and they running the, they running bootleg bootleg pay per view. That shit's wild. When you got 30, 40, 50 niggas, a venue, wings, women. These niggas got hookah. These niggas got hookah. These niggas got hookah, <laughs> hookah, and all of that. I told you the party gonna be popping. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking party. Hey, nigga, fuck party gonna be popping, nigga. Everybody gonna be in the motherfucking building. URL might be smack, and them niggas might be at that motherfucking party. They don't like you anyway. Murder Mook don't like you either. So them niggas might be at that party. Watch out, nigga. Um, so let's get to my final, you know what I'm saying, my thoughts, predictions. SP will be in the building tomorrow. We will be recapping power moves. Look, at Y'all, and recap niggas, everybody can recap how you do, I'm recapping too, nigga. You know, once the motherfucking battles go off, we are on live recapping it. I done did it with damn near every big event. I did it at events I was at. We be outside on live. I'm going live when it's over. Anybody else want to go live, you go live too, but I do what I do. It's the thousand. I'm at a thousand in here. Hitman, it's a Hitman recap. It's going to be a thousand in here. That's why I ain't in Atlanta. I'm like, uh, Atlanta. 
be at the crib and recap this shit, make my bread, and ain't gotta spend nothing to fucking be there. That shit shoots through the roof, especially in this economy. I'm gonna be right here. You know, when when the game is over, you click ESPN, you turn the motherfucking CBS, NBC, Fox Sports, you watch your highlights and you hear people give their breakdowns. I'm giving my breakdowns because that's one of the better, that's one of my, me and SP's better, SP's best quality, breakdowns, recaps and shit. But that's one of my better qualities, recaps. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stay where the bread is buttered. Power moves, bags and bodies. Uh, you got Hitman, Holler vs. Gigi Gotti, New Jersey Twerk vs. Big K, Swamp vs. T-Rex. Snake Eyes vs. J2 and Av vs. A Ward. Short card going down November 9th. Doors open at 1 p.m. Battle start at 3. Uh, pay per view commentary by Frozen Bros. Shout out to them. You already know it's going to be a, a good event. They do really well on the commentary. So I'm sure that's going to be good. Bags and Bodies in association with it. Looks like We the Fans is on here and some other shit. Uh, going down to Katie Atlanta. Let's get some motherfucking battles. That's what these niggas want to hear about. Snake Eyes vs. J2. Um, Snake Eyes, shout out to Snake Eyes, you know what I'm saying, um, as far as like, you know, his career and being resilient and being able to bounce back from most situations. He don't win a lot of, that nigga don't win a lot of motherfucking battles. I'm just going to tell you that right now, that nigga don't win no battles, he don't win no fights either. But he is in a position on this card battling against J2. I got J2. 2-1. I got J2. Nigga want bet? Who the fuck want bet? I got $20 bet. I put $20 on J2, nigga. $20, nigga. I'm at Rice Gang ENT. R-I-C-E-G-A-N-G-E-N-T on Cash App. Rice Gang ENT. Nigga, you want bet? Nigga, send me $20. Say your bet is on Snake, nigga. And my bet is automatically on J2. I can't run from you, nigga. I can't run from you. What's up? Who want it? Take the bet, motherfucker. And if you win, clear, I pay. <laughs> but if not, I keep it. But I feel like J2 gonna win. I got J2 winning clear. Uh, he just raps better, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sure that Snake, you know, they, they had good promotion, they talk they shit, but to me, J2 is a better rapper. At the end of the day, the better rapper is gonna win. Snake Eyes is not the better rapper, period. It is what it is, 2-1. Um, Av versus Award. Av versus Award is one of the most critical battles of the year and is a very important battle. Uh, Award has been phenomenal. You know, in most of his battles, he's gonna show up, he's gonna bring three rounds, he just battled Hollow to Dawn, he did great in that. He don't lose very often, and when he's battling at a high clip, he's very effective. Av, on the other hand, has had one of the most flawless years. He damn near ain't really lost to many people at all. If he's, he, Av is at a point right now where he's not even losing rounds. Like, he's beating people like 3-0, like he's really wild. This year, he got Chef Trez, close battle, 40 bars, win. Hollow to Dawn, win. Uh, Rosenberg Raw win, Av win, Marv win, Big T win. What the fuck we doing with Av? Av done one damn near every battle, almost 3 0. He done almost 3 0 most of these people. He don't be having no close battles and shit. Av ain't having no, no nail biters. Av is clearing niggas out the way. That's what he's doing. He's street sweeping. Construction work on Av with a jackhammer. Oh, and back to that, uh, Snake Eyes versus Swamp. Snake was supposed to be in a boxing match last week and it didn't happen. Stumble said some dumb shit like, "Oh, Shotgun Show didn't get the hotel the day before. I should feel like the, I should feel like I'm the main event. He tried to get me the hotel the night of. I didn't want to pull up and get out the car and just get the fight. And I needed to get a good night's sleep. And my room had to be distilled and the water needed to be distilled. My nigga, it's some ghetto ass." Hood fucking pay-per-view, nigga. You're not Floyd. You're not, <laughs> you're not fucking Bernard Hopkins. You're not Oscar De La Hoya, my nigga. You don't need to get in town two, three days early. Nigga, pull up and fight. That's what niggas wanted to see anyway. And then the fact is, I understand what you said, but I don't respect it because niggas is paying to see it. So you don't say shit till a week later, man. Get the fuck. Yo, get, get, this, get this nigga out of here, son. Get this nigga out of here. He's not even getting the L. Get him out of here. Stumble. We don't want to hear it. But, uh, so Av versus, um, Av versus... Um, motherfucking A-Ward. A-Ward phenomenal, you know. Rebuttals well, my rebuttal game crazy. Av is an active puncher. He really could get in punch bags that uh that really you get behind once you get punch, 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 punch. You can get like punch drunk. Like Av can really, really, really get in pockets of flows that, that, that really can project what he's got going on. He takes up space well. He's not the craziest performer, but Av, his punch rate is high. And he's kind of, he's probably going to be writing sharper then he's been writing because he has something to write for. He knows that the talks is going on. He knows that he's up there with Tay Rock and all of that. He knows Rock just lost the battle. He knows Rock had that battle with Jazz. He's got some blemishes on his record that people are going to be talking about. But he knows that, for me, it's a must-win battle for Av. But A-Ward does everything well, not just one thing well. If there's any battle for me of the night 
first of all, I feel like Av versus A War is gonna be the battle of the night. Secondly, I got this shit debatable, 2-1 either way. Whoever wins the third round, to me the third round is gonna be the most important round of the battle. And also who goes first, because that rebuttal game, Av don't really rebuttal, if at all. That's one of his weakest traits, is rebuttaling. But rebuttaling takes a lot, because you have to not only remember all of your material, you have to hear something from that next person, then be able to flip it, you know what I'm saying? All while the crowd and everyone, everything else is you, and those elements are not easy, you know what I'm saying? Um, so. We will see where that goes, but I got I definitely got the battle um two one either way. You know what I'm saying? That's just one I got I get I do get that choice. I get that choice. I've been around long enough. Motherfucker We're not cooking yet, but I do get that motherfucking choice. Alright, so check this out. Uh Swamp versus T-Rex. Woo! Swamp has been amazing. Uh his battle versus Averb. I felt like he got that one. He's been doing good for 2024. Um I don't feel like and I feel like I don't feel like Swamp continued that high level of battles, success, or anything after the verb battles. Like we got to the verb battle, bam, that was the apex. And then from then, he ain't been losing. He ain't been like out of stock, but I really ain't heard much. I really ain't seen him on those super big cards and shit like that. And I needed Swamp to continue like, okay, bam, you get that one. I know sometimes people be battling, sometimes people be ducking him and shit like that. Don't he got Calico coming up? I think Calico, yeah, Swamp, Winter Madness and shit. So that's another battle that could really mean a lot. Let me go to, uh, yeah, Swamp, Swamp versus, uh, no, Calico. Yeah, 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 let's do this. Landslide. Yeah, Calico, boom. My bad, my nigga. I don't be remembering all you niggas. You niggas have cards every motherfucking week. I ain't remember. I ain't remembering you niggas' cards because I forget them the day after they happen anyway. So why would I remember them? Winter Madness, yeah, that's the joint. Calico does have Swamp. This is this is these are, this is the best. <laughs> Turn the fucking stove on. These are the battles that, of that caliber that I be wanting um, Swamp to continue to have. Swamp clears Rex. Swamp clears uh, Cal. He's gonna have an interesting year too. Um, Swamp versus Rex. Uh, Rex has been surprisingly good this year. Um, the, um, the Mito, I mean, y'all know what he did to Chilla 3 on on him. Uh, he's been showing up in most of his battles. Uh, I feel like Swamp is going to get a lot of love in the land. This is a very important battle for Swamp. It's very difficult to pick against Rex and what Rex has been doing. But if anybody could get past Rex in a great battle, it would be Swamp. But I'm still picking Rex 2-1. You know, you know, I'm from uptown. I mean, it is what it is. If I was from South Carolina, some shit like that, maybe the little bit that I have left of bias would go towards Swamp. I used to live in South Carolina for like seven months a couple years ago, but I still got Rex 2-1. Um, New Jersey Twerk versus Big K. New Jersey Twerk versus Big K is a pretty interesting battle because we all know that Big K battled Rock on, um, you know what I'm saying, on the other card. And you know, Big K had uh, introduced Rock to the Blue Room on the on the join, and it was a, definitely a good battle. But it, it, it the battle got taken away from because Rock had these fucking twenty minute rounds. He's been doing them like all year, and then like while he's rapping, Twerk is in the background. You know what I'm saying? Like you can rap all you want, you got all day, my nigga. Ain't nobody gonna stop. Hold on. Put my hood up. Get the Twerk shit right. Ain't nobody gonna stop you. You got all day, my nigga. Rap all day. Rap all day. Keep on rapping, nigga. Twerk was so much in the footage, it looked like a two-on-one. It looked I thought Twerk was about to pick up and start rapping for this nigga. When big when when Rock was getting into these bags, the Miller left. I flip your shit. You niggas ain't in the shit. I, I thought he was gonna jump in and start rapping. I definitely did. He was mad close to the shit. But anyway, uh Big K got twerk now. Um it's a must win for Big K. Um, no, it's a must win for New Jersey Twerk. Because if you was like in Rock's, you know what I'm saying, Rock's Corner, you're a URL representative, you versus Big K, you know Big K represents RBE. Uh, if I'm a betting man, the crowd gonna kinda be pro twerk, you know what I'm saying? Because you know the crowd, the crowd's gonna have a bias. I don't know, it is what it is, man. What the fuck you want me to say? So, uh, crowd gonna be towards him. Uh, Twerk's not gonna, Big K's not gonna come with no amazingly round, long, long rounds because that's not really his thing. Uh, Twerk has the, could have the energy. If he slips up or chokes or we do any of this, this shit, he's losing. I can tell you that right now. But three rounds, 
clean, three clean rounds, no extra bullshit. Uh, twerk will probably could probably edge him, but if Big K is on his was on his shit, Big uh, Big K is one of them ones, man. Uh, it just that's just how that motherfucker goes, man. Y'all tell me who you think Big K or New Jersey Twerk is winning. This is the one. This is the battle I throw to you niggas. You tell me. Give me Big K two one. Give me New Jersey Twerk two one. They motherfuckers. It's gonna be a dog. That's gonna be a dog fight. That will probably be dog fight of the night. Uh, Hitman Holler versus Geisha Gotti. Hitman Holler put together power moves, uh, bags and bodies. He put together one of the bigger events of the year that kind of was like, you know, one of the real marquee joints. Him versus Geisha Gotti is a premier battle people have been wanting to see. And Hitman Holler took the battle into his own hands so much to the point that Loaded Lux is throwing a motherfucking party for the <laughs> a party. He throwing a party and all are invited. Am I invited? I think I'm invited. Them niggas send me an invite to the motherfucking party. Tickets is on Eventbrite. The link in the bio. And you know what the problem is a lot of people have with us? Like Lux. You promoted your party, but you never even promoted the event, my dog. That you ain't post a flyer. You ain't telling niggas to sh <laughs> That's a all of nigga for you, boy. He ain't post a flyer. He ain't tell niggas to show up. He ain't say, yo, we supporting my boy. Nothing, bro. That nigga just came and threw the motherfucker. <laughs> he ran a number hole on your shit, man. But, uh, you know, <sighs> you got Geechee Gotti versus Hitman Hollow. Uh, I do think Hitman spending or spent a little too much time with his gang shit. Like, it's cool, but gangs don't... There's only a small population of people in gangs, and you got to kind of, like, like, promote and kind of like, you gotta fulfill your mission to the masses, you know what I'm saying? Like, the gang shit is cool, but your message should be bigger than, than, than you gotta be trying to beat Geechee Gotti. Because if Geechee Gotti comes on your card, on your event, where you put the whole shit together, you paying people, you flying motherfuckers out and all of that, and you lose, it's, that's the most important part. The win is more important than anything, you know? Uh, is Hitman gonna use current events? Of course he is. I mean, not Hitman. Is Geechee gonna use current events? Of course he is. That's what he do. Is he gonna use angles against you? Of course. Do you expect to hear something about your girl getting shot? Of course. Do you expect to hear something about being, you know, blood and all that? Of course. You, you, should, you should expect it. You should expect it. Yeah. Nigga, you's a bitch. You was in LA. You ain't got no gun there. Nigga, you's a bitch. You represent a gang in LA, nigga. You ain't even from there, nigga. You, a, you should expect all of that. You should definitely. I can hear it. It's almost ringing through my ears and shit. I can hear that shit, man. So, if Hitman's as good of a defensive writer, you know, or if he's got strengths that he's gonna lean towards, you know what I'm saying? Like, Hitman, you could definitely, you definitely got some ways that you can go at Gotti. <laughs> you know, one of your biggest battles, I had to book you to get it. Like, huh? You better jump in that bag, huh? Huh? With the radar clip, I get to shoot and shoot, shoot like I'm J.R. Smith. Yeah, I had to book the shit. Cooking it. You know, stove. The pot like I'm cooking grits. Book of shit. The biggest battle of your life. I had to book the shit. You better, yeah, you better jump in that bag. You better jump in that bag. I would suggest so. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, you don't want to, you don't want URL to send a, send a hitman over there to knock you off on your own shit. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of a must win for you. But as a betting man, if I'm going with who I think, is gonna win. I'll probably say Geechee got it because Geechee got it, got a lot of ammo. He had you up there on WAG 100. I don't know why you was up there. I still don't know. I still don't know why because that motherfucking Zoom meeting wasn't gonna prove shit with this battle, my nigga. It wasn't. It was not. I don't think so. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, Geechee Gotti is gonna have the, the crowd that fuck with him. And Geechee done threw events in Atlanta before. You know, I know Hitman lives in Atlanta, but he's just thrown events there before, and he gets a lot of love there. He gets love everywhere. So we got to really, really, like, focus in on that battle. That battle is getting watched. That battle is going to be talked about, and it's going to be one of the bigger event battles of the year. I'm not on my twerk shit no more. My bad, my bad, my bad. Twerk, your battle going to be talked about too, nigga. Don't get it fucked up. Um... Overall, like I said, the promotion of the card has been dope. Uh, people will be tuned in. Uh, shout out to everybody out there to get your popcorn ready. You know what I'm saying? We will be watching it. I will be live afterward. Hey, I got to get, I got to get mine too. <laughs> I got to get mine too. You know what I'm saying? They watching, I'm sure. I appreciate everybody watching the, the videos and everything. And shout out to everybody. I got to give a special shout out before I get out of here. Shout out to everybody who watches the recaps and will say when I got something wrong. 
because like sometimes like when your mind is like working like you're saying something and you might say the wrong thing so in the recap yesterday i was doing hollow versus uh see that's how quick i brain dumped the fucking battles uh right after they happened i was doing hollow versus jc and I had got a line wrong, you know what I'm saying? I had, it happens, you know what I'm saying? This shit, it, it fucking definitely happens. And I had said something about uh, about this, the, the Sidney Dean line. Sidney Dean was actually in White Man Can't Jump, not above the rim, but I just said above the rim because the way my mind, you know, sometimes, like I said, I be moving so quick sometimes. And I'm glad the people in the comments, they like called it out, like he didn't say that, he didn't say that, I'm like, I appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? So if you ever see me, I get a bar wrong or some shit like that. It don't happen often, but oh, it don't happen often. And if you think you're good, you can try it, but it ain't easy, you know what I'm saying? And I only watched the battle, uh, I only watched it once. I did the recap and watched the shit at the same time. Yeah, I'm still good like that. So uh, shout out to every single, every single one of y'all, you know what I'm saying? The subscribers, that notification gang, et cetera, et cetera. You know what the fuck going on. Uh, power moves, shout out to uh, Hitman. Shout out to everybody that's involved with it, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to the city of Atlanta. I would have loved to be there in Atlanta, but <laughs> I got kids in high school, man. The economy is, <laughs> it don't just facilitate running around on no pro bono shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it's just not. And I got school anyway. I got homework assignments this weekend and shit. Uh, people be asking me how I'm doing in school. I got like seven classes left for my master's. I got A's in all my classes so far. I don't even know how I do it as a parent and then doing this battle rap shit and et cetera, but I've been getting the job done, so I got like seven classes left. I got a marketing proposal I gotta do this weekend, so trust me, I don't miss. <laughs> I do not miss going through TSA to see battle rap. I remember niggas used to try to hit me with it. Y'all niggas be scared to go to events. Nobody be scared, son. Y'all niggas scared, son. Then I started being on motherfucking pay-per-view. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Every I was on pay-per-view. I'm at all these events. And I told myself, the, this is nothing but smoke and mirrors. People will tell you things just to see if you're going to do it. And then when you do it, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you really ain't scared. Nah, nigga, keep that same energy. You said back there, you don't know no shotgun shook. So in life, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're, we all fall for the gaffle sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But in this regard, I'm good. I'm at the crib. I got my za. <laughs> I got my, my laptop. I got my camera. I got my lighting. I got SP coming through. We good, so we will peep it on the stream. Make sure the stream is popping and everything else is good. But other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all. You already know what the fuck going on, it's your man by the fly. Tell your mama I said how you respect the handle. Subscribe to the channel, my nigga. You know what the fuck going on, gang. I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair This the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay, free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, -A. I got beef with the feds in it Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A